for today's Colgate Optic White Smile Show video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm actually gonna show you my dark lipstick routine because whenever I like post a picture wearing dark lipstick, I get a lot of comments of you guys asking me like how I wear it and like how I pull it off. And I actually don't just like slap it on. A lot of people just slap it on and they're like, oh, it doesn't look good on me. But that doesn't look good on me either. I have like a full blown routine when I want to wear dark lips. All right, so I'm gonna get started. So the first thing that I have to do, this is so important, is I cannot have chapped lips when I am wearing like dark lipstick. It's really noticeable and really annoying. So I make my own lip scrub. Basically, I mean, you guys know the drill. I just use sugar in like either olive oil or I'll use coconut oil and I just mix it around. And then I scrub, scrub, scrub for like another 20 seconds. And then I remove it with paper towel. And if I still have dead skin on my lips, I'll do it again. And I do this until my lips are like baby soft. And then afterwards, I just dab on a little bit of like lip balm, not too much because then like it's gonna ruin everything later. Okay, this next thing, um, I cannot have like a mustache okay because when I have lipstick on it like makes it really really noticeable also because your lips are like the focus point in your face so anything around like your mouth area is gonna be noticeable so I actually use like hair removal cream or I'll use wax but I don't have any of that right now you just leave it on for like a little bit and then after you remove it and then like put your makeup on and all that it just looks better it feels better and I'm just like less less like self-conscious like oh my god people are looking at my lips are they looking at my mustache too and since lipstick attracts so much attention to like your mouth and your teeth, I'm gonna make sure that I brush before I apply my lipstick because number one, I don't want to ruin my artwork. And number two, I really want to brighten my teeth up. I don't want them to like appear yellow behind the lipstick. So I'm using my Colgate Optic White Express White Toothpaste, of course. Okay, so for the other makeup aside from my lips, the way that I do it, number one, I have to be wearing foundation or at least like some kind of coverage to cover up dark circles because if I'm wearing dark lipstick and I have like say dark circles under my eyes or dark marks it'll attract more attention to those so I make sure that I cover all that up you know what I mean eyebrows okay these need to be done they don't need to be like on fleek or anything I just need to have them at least filled in because I feel like my face is a little bit unbalanced when I have a dark lip and just kind of like you know like naked eyebrows unless your eyebrows are like naturally thick then don't even worry about this bronzer um, I do like to warm up my face when I'm wearing a dark lip this is actually just like my own I mean all this is my own personal preference but like this is too I like to have like more of a warm face don't get me wrong it looks super hot when like the girls have like the pale face and the dark lips I just don't think I pull it off as well as they do so I like to kind of bronze it up a little bit eye makeup um if you think I care about whether my eyes are heavy or light when I'm wearing a dark lip I don't um I feel like you should just do whatever you want um obviously some people aren't gonna like it if you do like a heavy eye and like heavy lip but like I don't think that that matters I feel like if you like it then you should do it sometimes I'll wear like a full-blown sm smoky eye and like black lips and I think it looks hot so just do whatever like you feel like doing now for my lips I'm gonna start off with how I do black black lips because this is like when I have people um, commenting the most about it I think. I do not do anything without a lip liner first. I feel like I just have way more control with lip liner. You can make, you can change the shape of your lip if you want to. You can cover up your cupid's bow. You can add a cupid's bow if you don't have one. You can make your lips smaller if you feel, you know, maybe like you want them smaller that day. You can make your lips bigger, you know, you can literally like add it to the inside of your lips and change the entire shape of your mouth. Lip liner to me is like the lines in the coloring book. So this is the most important part. So I start off with my lip liner and um, I go ahead and I spend the most time on this part. I make sure that the line is perfect. And then afterwards, I just kind of fill in the sides and like bring it down just a little bit. And then I go in with my black lipstick and I just, you know, put it on. Um, okay, this part's really important too. You want to take your concealer brush and you want to go back around the outside of your lips with concealer. And this is gonna like really polish off the look. It's so important because you'd be surprised like how, no matter how steady your hand is, it still like leaves the edges a little bit bumpy. So you really want like a straight, perfect, defined line. So clean it up with your concealer, girl. And then afterwards, stick your finger in your mouth and pull it out. This way like none of that gets on your teeth. 
And I go for matte lipstick. Sometimes it could be a little bit drying, so I make sure I just dab on just a little bit of lip balm, nothing too shiny or else it'll just ruin it for me. Now, if you're feeling like black is like a little bit too harsh, you know, obviously it's not for everyone, but you still want like a dark lip, then I sometimes will take like some gold eyeshadow or like silver eyeshadow or like some kind of eyeshadow and I'll just like dab it in the center of my mouth and I'll just kind of like dab it around and like blend it until it looks all like, you know, gradient, I guess. And another one of my favorite things to do with black or any other dark color, like it could be dark red, dark purple, like whatever, is I line my lips with the dark color first, like I did before, and I fill in like the sides and all that. And then afterwards I take a lipstick that's a little bit lighter. This one I'm using black and red. So with the red, it's like a dark red, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to like the center of my lips. I'm gonna blot and I'm gonna go back in with my lip liner. I'm gonna add a little bit more, make sure that, you know, my the edges of my lips are really dark and it slowly, you know, kind of gradually moves to like red. And I keep adding more red, blot, and I do this until I'm satisfied with the look. And then afterwards, I go around the edges and I clean it up. And that's pretty much it. I do this with all types of different shades and colors and lipsticks and liners. Um, so hopefully you guys like this and maybe you guys learned something about how to do this. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon, all right? I love you, bye.